Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to RNG abuse for quick shiny Pokemon in Colosseum. And before we get started, there's a few things you're going to need and know before we actually uh, attempt this RNG. So the first thing is you're going to need these two programs, XD Seed by Jinzaru and Pokefinder by Admiral Fish. You'll notice that XD Seed is in Japanese. Uh, luckily, I have translations um, in the comments pinned, and I've got a whole video of Colosseum RNG basics that you should also watch before uh, watching this video just so you can get an understanding of how this game works. Um, on top of that, in-game, the only thing you're going to need to know is your trainer ID and your secret ID. That is how a shiny is determined. If you don't know that or you haven't started your game yet, uh, I have a video uh, on how to RNG abuse your trainer ID. So that's, uh, that's good. Now, with that out of the way, uh, in regards to picking your targets, um, there's a beautiful list made by uh, Papa Hefe um, that shows which Pokemon are difficult and where the location is pretty much. Um, so I would say if you're doing this type of quick RNG, just a very easy quick one, uh, stick to easy, medium, and hard tier. Anything past that for this method is, um, uh, it requires like specific movements and lots of attempts. And I'm gonna cover some of the more noisy areas like Suicune and Raikou eventually, uh, but they're all very difficult to say the least. Now for the easy tier, um, it's pretty much these four Pokemon, uh, Sunfloor to Miltank, are all in uh, Realgum Tower, which have no noise. Titar has a set amount of RNG advancement before it every single time, but it's a specific method, and I'm going to be doing a video on Titar, so don't worry about that. And then these three Pokemon are in the area after Suicune, and they're all also no noise in that area. Um, then the medium tier, pretty much, they're either Shadow Locked Pokemon, which if you don't know what a Shadow Locked Pokemon is, uh, please check out my video on how to RNG Shadow Locked Pokemon. And the other Pokemon will have minimal amount of noise, usually anywhere from like 5 to 40 frames or something like that. Uh, and with that said, once you've got your target, you know your secret ID, you've got all these programs ready to go, uh, let's get started with the seed finding. Alright, so when finding your initial seed, it's just the usual business of going into um, Battle Now and uh, inputting the trainer names and such. Uh, in succession. And remember, it's always singles uh, ultimate difficulty. Alright. Thomas Meganium. Search. And I mean, there's just nothing complicated about this anymore. Uh, it used to be much more difficult, but luckily it is easy and accessible for everyone now. Seth and Metagross. Uh, Wes and Metagross is next. Seth and Heracross. Wes and Entei. Wes and Raikou. And Wes and Swampert. Alright. Now once you get your initial seed, open up Pokefinder and click the GameCube tab. Make sure your select your correct profile is uh selected. Um, and paste your seed down here. Now, with that, check the shiny only box and check the use delay box. In use delay, put the number 5 there. Then hit generate. Uh, and a bunch of shiny frames will pop out. Now we're going to want to pick something that is 10,000 or less. So as you can see, we have one here with 1,110 frames. So we're going to go into XD seed. And we're going to paste our seed again in this box right here. Then we're going to type 1110 and we're going to hit search. Okay, if nothing comes up, there's two options. You can either increase the amount of remainder, which is how many remaining frame advancements you have to do, or you can just reset for a new seed. Um, neither of these remainders are good because neither of them are divisible by 20 slash 7. So because of that, what you have to do, since despite this frame being very close, you can't actually control the RNG for it, so we have to do a another initial seed find. Alright, so just the same thing again. Refind our initial seed. And hope something is uh, easier to attain. Right, ultimate uh, Seth Blaziken. Seth Blaziken. Seth Swampert. I wonder why, um... Wes Metagross. 
Oh, uh, Septile's not in here. Seth Swampert. Seth Metagross. Alright, now we do the same thing again. Open Poke Finder in the GameCube RNG tab. It's everything same as before, including the use delay. Paste. Alright, so now it seems that we have uh, another viable potential candidate here. So we're going to open XD Seed. Paste our, seed, whoop, paste our seed up top and type the amount of frames we have to advance, which is 4705. And I'm going to lower this back down to 100 down here and search. All right, we'll stop because I already found one that is good. Uh, we, can, we can research it just in case, but I found one that I like already. All right, so the one I like is the one with seven frames remaining. So this is going to singles, ultimate twice, then singles, normal, then singles, easy, then singles, normal again and then doubles hard. And now we have seven frames remaining after we do this advancement, which we can just do by viewing our PDA once we load the game up. And if you have, if you are not familiar with the types of advancements and what I'm doing here in this method, um, please, I urge you, so just view the snag list in PDA, that's the seven advancement I'm doing. Uh, what you're looking for in the remainder there, by the way, is this is, this will advance you this many frames, and then you have a remainder left, right? What you're looking for is increments of either 7 or 20, um, because those are the only small amounts of increments that you can do. So um, I probably couldn't do most of these, actually. Uh, this might have been the only one I would be uh, capable of doing, um, just as luck happened to turn out there. Um, but um, after I've done my 7 advancement, I just run into the battle that I'm going for with a Skarmory. Um, now... Um, Make sure all the trainers are cleared up till here, until the Skarmory trainer, and on top of that, um, if you didn't understand the type of advancement I'm doing with XD Seed uh, right here, please, please, please watch my basics guide. I explain and have a translation of this in the comments, okay? Um, but this is just a quick way to get these uh, shinies. Uh, luckily, this cutscene actually affects nothing for the Skarmory. Usually, it's better to clear cutscenes if you're capable. Um, I just forgot it was here. <laughs> Now at this point, you just want to start the encounter and actually get your uh, get your Shino Skarmory or whatever shiny Pokemon that you happen to be aiming for. Now, if you happen to be in an area with noise, my best suggestion for you would be to move through the area as quickly as possible and then see how many frames late you were. However, like I said, I'm going to make a more in-depth video on how to cover noisy areas. This is just for like a quick shiny in areas that are simple to actually RNG in. Uh, now at this point I am going to just let the battle play out until I capture the Skarmory. There's nothing else you can do. Um, now, uh, I said this in one of my other videos, but here's the thing. These end game battles can be quite a bit challenging, and if you lose, as long as the Shadow Pokemon was actually sent out, you don't have to reset the game. Just go into the battle. So if I lost here, this would not be good, right? D don't, you know, just reset. But if I lost after Skarmory got sent out, the Skarmory is actually permanently locked at that point. So now I can go back in and um, re-encounter the Skarmory. Uh, and it would always be shiny. Uh, but that's just a very niche situation if that happens to uh, occur.
Alright, so the Skarmory gets sent out. Don't be concerned if it's not shiny. It's very likely to not be shiny <laughs> uh, when you first encounter it. Uh, and, in fact, it actually can't be shiny on the first encounter anyway. Uh, and, um, all you gotta do is catch it at this point. So now, if I only had these two Pokemon and I lost here, the Skarmory would actually still be shiny. Uh, but, luckily, I have more backup Pokemon. Oh, and here I actually realized in Colosseum, by the way, what, what that little menuing there was, was I realized I didn't want um, the Ampharos to be in the in that slot. And I was like, oh, how do I switch? You actually can't. So, like, once I confirmed the Ampharos for the slot that it was getting sent out in, uh, it actually just couldn't be fixed. So here I use the Master Ball glitch, if you don't know what that is. Uh, pick, throw the Master Ball, and then as your second Pokemon, switch the Master Ball spot in the item list, and then do whatever you want with that Pokemon. So you'll never run out of the Master Ball once you get it. Very handy. Especially if you're not too picky about your, uh, uh... If you're not too picky about your... Ball to Pokemon, like, combo or whatever, you know? And now you check. And as you can see, it is a green burb. My green metal burb. It's hard to show before it's sent out, so I'll wait for it to set, be sent out in Sparkle. And the nice thing about this is you actually know its nature, because since you, you RNG'd the, uh, the bird, this one's Jolly, I believe, you actually know the entire spread. This actually has perfect def uh, HP and defense, which is super funny. Um, didn't even look for that, but yeah. There's the sparkling uh, bird. So uh, good luck with all of your shinies. Um, Please tweet them at me at uh, I'm underscore A underscore Blissey at Twitter, or uh, join my Discord and post them there. Uh, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. I just want to give a big shout out to all of my channel members and anyone who donated on my streams recently. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support very much. And a special shout out to the two Bliss God tier members, Chroma and Super Saiyan. You guys get an even extra special thank you.